Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make baked mahi mahi. Now I've already taken the thawed these out and I uh, took them out of the individual packaging. I made sure first that they were not made in Japan or came from China, I'm sorry. And I laid them out. You have to have a something that's non-stick. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could use the non-stick aluminum foil. That would work real well. I chose to use the silk hat. So um, anyway, I got the fish laying here. I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of lemon juice on each little fillet. Just like that. Now you know if you're going to have something else with this meal that you need to go ahead and like I'm having fried potatoes and a salad. Well this fish doesn't take a long time so I went ahead and got that fixed. Now, even though the recipe doesn't call for it, this is the only time to get any kind of flavor in that fish. So put a little bit of salt on it. Doesn't matter. It can be regular salt, kosher salt. This is Himalayan pink salt, and the only reason I have it is because it was a good deal at... Um, one of those stores, I forget which one it was, TJ Maxx. They always have, you know, if you get there at the right time, you get the get a good deal. <clears throat> All right. I got the lemon juice and I've got the uh, salt on it. Now I'm going to put, this is Marie's dressing, but if you find it in a different uh, brand, that's fine. Uh, this is just what I happen to choose. It's Asiago peppercorn dressing. I'm going to put a tablespoon on each fish. Kind of squash it down there. go. Sometimes if the, and you don't have to go exactly by the directions because, you know, things change. This is a broad piece of fish right here. It needed more. All right. Here's my last one down here. Simple recipe right here. All right. Now I've got some panko breadcrumbs. And I'm going to sprinkle two tablespoons on each little piece of fish here. You can see I'm just being so precise with this. I'm going to pop this into a 400 degree oven. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. It says 14 to 16 minutes, but we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'll tell you how long it took mine. Although, this is going to definitely depend on your oven. Alright, we'll be back. We will be back. Alright, our 
fish is done. I um, stuck it with a little oven thermometer and um, when it gets to 145 degrees, it is ready. So I've got my little piece of fish here. Here's part of my plate right here. And let's just, oh, I don't want to waste any of this. Here we go. Let's just give it a cut. Oh, flaky, tender. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Let's see. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very good. You got to give it a try. Mmm. It took mine about 18 minutes. But if you have a little meat thermometer, I would check it that way. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Subscribe if you haven't. And I want to thank you for coming back into my kitchen and spending part of your day with me. Until next time, you take care.